Hi guys, Arkin Templar here with another Game of Thrones character profile. Stannis Mine by Rites Baratheon. A character who is popular for no discernible reason. Um, Stannis is a mystery to me. Um, his reputation seems to have nothing to do with who he is as a person and his actions in Game of Thrones. Um, he constantly talks about how he's a man of honor. And Davos, who's a much more sympathetic character, constantly talks about how great Stannis is. But Stannis, by and large, kind of sucks. <laughs> I think his popularity is entirely based on the fact that um, people basically say it's a shitty world, so we need someone who will just clean house in a brutally efficient manner. And that, that's a decent argument for Stannis. And people who just hate Daenerys and see him as the only real rival left and that's also a legitimate argument but beyond that i find him utterly unsympathetic he's kind of a douche actually he's a massive douche and he doesn't really have many redeemable features um i found him to be to be petulant to be whiny to be hypocritical self-righteous he's kind of like he's, he's very much like ned but with all the um the things that make ned likable removed and i always found them two extremely similar characters actually there's kind of a similar moment where ned right before his downfall alters the words on robert's will and <coughs> i believe stannis makes a similar compromise right before his downfall when he throws when he uses the um the leeches there's something like that where um yeah right before the downfall um but no stannis 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 i don't know why people like him let's look at his record um he he took an interesting position with davos uh, he granted him lands, but he cut off his fingers, and that shows that he's just, um, okay. Well, it, it shows he's just, but that's the only example we have that he's just. Um, is there another example in the series of Stannis doing something just? Well, in the books, I think he, um, he gelds rapers which is, is admirable, and something I agree with. I don't think he does that in the books, though. I mean, in the show. So I guess that's kind of just. But the man's so lacking in emotion, and so lacking in a moral compass, I'd imagine he just does it for disciplinary reasons, because he thinks rape is bad for morale, or is bad for, like... The men's ability to fight. I doubt he actually like gives a shit. And that's kind of the impression I get out of him. That he just doesn't care about anything. And, and that's kind of the strange thing about Stannis. Because he doesn't really seem to give a shit about anything. He doesn't want to be king. But he keeps he keeps fighting. Because it's mine by... It's, it's his by right. The throne is mine by right. Because I'm Stannis Baratheon. And I call him Stannis mine by right Baratheon. Because he says it every five seconds in the book. So he doesn't want to be king. But he's fighting a war to be king because it's the right thing to do. But he has no emotional sense of what's right. He doesn't really seem to give a shit about people. He has almost a sociopathic indifference whenever people get killed. Uh, whenever people die for him. He, he is interestingly, in my view, both nihilistic and extremely moralistic at the same time. Because on the one hand, he doesn't really seem to care about anything, be it his family, be it running Westeros, be it having any compassion or feelings for his fellow man. And on the other, he's almost puritanical in terms of how he views corruption, breaking laws, and stuff like that. Uh, I'm wondering if there's a mental illness that is like that. But he's just a really strange guy. Um, I can't really remember him reacting 
like with any emotion to anything and people say well you criticize ned for being overly emotional yeah but ned's a human being at least stannis has the personality of a lobster and yes i do find pretty much all of his actions in the show and books to be morally questionable he he starts an affair with with some random uh woman from across the ocean who who obviously worships a demon because of the fact that she like shoots demon babies out of her womb and uses them to kill people so he does that he kills his brother like I, I can't really blame him for killing his brother i blame him for summoning like satan's powers to kill his brother i mean that's pretty messed up i mean what kind of a fucking god of light uses like shadow demons to kill people I don't know, to me it's pretty obvious that Melisandre is some weird woman who made a pact with a demon and just pretends to represent Raylor, whoever the fuck Raylor is. So he, he, he um, despite being cynical and not believing in anything, uh, he converts to some random religion, although he doesn't really seem to believe in it, um, because he thinks he can win the throne by making a pact with Satan. So that's like, that's Stannis' moral compass right there. Um, I deserve to be king, even though I don't want to be king. So I'm going to make a pact with the devil. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to burn people to some weird foreign god. Uh, and, and use demons that, like, eat people. Okay, I know the shadow babies don't eat people. I'm just being facetious. <coughs> but, um, what kind of a moral compass is that? That's really weird. And, um, in the show, he, he burns his daughter, from what I've heard, I haven't actually gotten through season five yet. He burns his daughter to the Lord of Light, which is, which is fucking bizarre. Um, like, I just, he's a character who everyone builds up as being this paragon of virtue. But aside from the one example of him doing something kind of interesting morally with Davos... I've seen no example of it. He was stubborn uh, during Robert's Rebellion. Okay, well, that, means just, that could just mean he's prideful. It doesn't really mean that he's necessarily a good person. And Stannis isn't a good person. He would utterly wreck the kingdom. Because he's, he's like Rob Stark. He's like Ned Stark. He's unwilling to make any sort of compromise. But he's worse than them because he doesn't have any human emotion. Now, you can go too far with your emotions, and that's a problem of a lot of politics today, where people are entirely governed by their emotions, and who will do things in the name of compassion that are deeply harmful and deeply destructive to society. But there's also being a robot, and having no feelings whatsoever, and being entirely driven by an abstract and yet extremely flexible code of honor. I mean, Ned was, was at least a human being. He at least could, like, his honor could be bent to some description in favor of, like, personal relationships, and he was moved by human suffering. Stannis has no warm feelings for anyone, even his own family. And he doesn't really seem to have a moral compass, and yet he's puritanical. And it's an extremely dangerous set of things. Because if you don't have a moral compass and you're puritanical, then what determines what you're going to be puritanical about? Well, nothing. And that's kind of the issue with him. Is he just like, we're going to burn people now. Um, we're just going to do it. And if you don't do it, if you don't convert to my religion, if you don't do all this shit, I'm going to kill you. But what, what he does just keeps changing. And he keeps changing his mind about stuff. And stuff and people are just left look going what that's weird and they can't follow him and much like rob stark because of his abstract sense of honor he's continuing a war and it wound up working out for him but there was really no way he could have known that uh that he really didn't stand much of a chance of winning but a series of like fortunate events kind of turned it around but he was really about to get wiped out um before joffrey died and a bunch of other stuff happened. But no, Stannis is not a good guy. I don't understand why he's popular. 
I don't see anything really morally good about him. He's, he's this strange combination of extreme obsession with rules, but also no ability to connect with others. Now, people will probably yell at me for this, but maybe he's... Isn't that kind of... I, I know <clears throat> um, it's different, but isn't that kind of what autism's like? Or um, Asperger's is kind of like? Kind of a preoccupation and almost obsessive nature with um, structures or certain topics or certain things. And also a lack of empathy. I don't mean like a psychopath where you're sadistic but just an inability to really consider other people and a preoccupation with non, um, non-beings, non-agents, be they like um, material objects or concepts. He really kind of strikes me as that. He's kind of like a robot, and he doesn't belong anywhere near power. They need a human to run the Seven Kingdoms, not a Mary Sue like Daenerys, and not Stannis, mine by rights, Baratheon. This is Argent Templar, signing out.